Hello, today we're going to start with the hair line design basic project. The student project for line design is the hair design, but we start with a profile picture, which is a frontal profile view, and I'm going to show you how to draw the basic portrait frontal pro portrait today. Okay, so what you'll need is you need to start by drawing a picture like this. You'll need to start by going with an absolute circle. Now I started with the circle, so that's all you'll need to do is a circle and about that round. If you wanna trace a circle, that is totally fine. You can trace that circle just like this. And go over it with another one, it goes around. So your basic profile starts with a circle, okay? Doesn't have to be perfect, just has to give you some dimension. After that, what you're gonna do is add the chin. So what I did was is I added an extra chin here and I erased this line in pencil, okay? So you would start with your circle. So do that now. You're gonna start with a circle for the head, the main part of the head right here, and then your chin that you're gonna to add to that. Now what I want you to think about when you're doing this is that we have to measure where the eyes, the nose, and the mouth will go. And how we do that is first we're going to take the very top of that circle and the bottom of the chin, okay? And we're going to take midway between both of them and put a point between both of those, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to draw a line that will be completely through the center, okay? So what you have is a cross line, okay? That goes completely across. That makes a complete cross through your circle and through your half circle down here that's more like a chin. Kind of like a moon shape if you turn it the other way, okay? And the way that I did the eyes is this is the eye line. So your eyes are on this line, okay? Now we're gonna draw between the eye line and the chin. So we're starting right here and right here and midway between that, we draw kind of another line right here and we call that the nose line, okay? So put a little dot of line. Now remember you're doing this all in pencil. So when you're doing it in pencil, you can erase the lines later. You will not need them. This is to help you measure, okay? So we have a dotted line here. Okay, and that is what we call the nose line. Now that's halfway between the eyes and the chin is the nose line. Now halfway between the nose line and the chin, we got this line and this line is going to be your mouth. So yes, this is gonna be the mouth or the lips, okay? So halfway between the eyes and the chin is the nose, halfway between the nose and the chin is the mouth, so you always measure from the chin on up, okay? All right. Now, you should have three lines. You should have a cross through the entire thing. You should have your eyes in the center of that cross. That's where your eye line is gonna be. Halfway between the eyes and the chin, right, the nose. Halfway between the nose and the chin is the mouth, correct. So now what we're gonna do is I've done a handout so that you can see how to do the particulars of how to draw eyes. So I start with a kind of a basic, okay? Sort of like an eye is like a diamond shape on its side, right? And then we kind of do moon eyelids, cut it up, okay? And then you do your circle underneath because you don't see complete circle of the eyes, right? You see them under the eyelids right here, okay? Okay, then you can draw your dot for your pupil of the eye, okay? That's how you draw your eyes. Your eyebrows will go kind of an arch right above the eye, right here. Same on the other side, okay? And your nose, I have a handout for nose if you want to learn how to draw noses. So, but I'm going to draw a quick round right here and kind of put two half rounds on the side, kind of creates a nose there, okay? On the mouth, kind of like a crushed M, letter M, okay? Some people like to start with a straight line first. You can do that, or you can do either one, either way. 
Then all you're going to do is connect that and make kind of a curved shape at the bottom to connect the two. Okay, let's talk about being able to put in, I always want to fix my eye here, um, being able to put in the ears. Now your ears will always be, okay, between the eye line and down here between the nose. So we draw kind of a curvature for the ears, kind of like this. Doesn't have to be perfect, okay? And when we do our neckline, we start from the bottom of the earlobe right here, and we start our neckline, okay? Now, if you want to have a curved shirt or whatever you want to do here, it's not important, but you can do however you want to do down there. And most of all here, between the eye line and the top of the head right here, the skull of the head, the top, and the eye line between halfway right here, this is called the hairline. And this is going to be important because we are going to be drawing a hairline, okay? All right, so this is the most important part I want you to know. If you, you don't have to draw on the hair just yet, but sometimes I mark it with a couple little strands there because we will be starting this hairline on another page, okay? So this is the basics of front portal drawing and to know how to do each section correctly. Now, let me show you what we need to do. We are going to draw only half of the portrait. And when we draw only half of the portrait, that means we need a tracing paper. So you're going to need to ask your teacher for a tracing paper. That's paper that you can see through. And you're going to take this line in the center and you're going to match it up with the edge of the tracing paper. Like right there. Now you see that I've already pretty much traced this out. But this is going to be what you're going to do. You're going to need a pencil. You cannot trace with anything else but a pencil because the carbon has to come off. So we're going to trace it completely. As you see, I've already traced it, okay? Then the ears, try to get it on the line as much as possible. When you're done tracing it, you'll have half a face, okay? And when you have half this face, what you're going to do is we are going to have, see if I can get this back up there. You're going to have the white sheet of paper, which will be given to you by me. Okay? And you're going to have to flip over that tracing paper, put it on the edge of your white paper so it goes right up to the edge. You're going to have to tape it up at the top a little bit to keep it steady or hold it steady. And you're going to trace it. All of it. Okay? Then you lift up the tracing paper and voila, your carbon has come out. Now, it's not going to come out perfectly at all, okay? But you might have to draw it back in a little bit. I don't know if it's as dark. So this is what you're going to have. Okay? So you're going to have that portrait. Now, I don't know if you can see this, but I'm going to try to draw it, not only draw it in, but I'm going to do it with black so that you can see it a little bit better. So I'm going to draw this in. All right, with a black marker. Can you see that outline a little bit better on the film? Okay, I'm going to go over my line. Okay, I'm drawing my details. So you can see that I've got a basic front half portrait. Now, Here's the thing about your project. You are going to do this in black and white in marker. However, one thing is different. You're going to create the hairline. Okay? And I'm going to show you how to do that. And one way that I'm doing, as you can see right here, I like to start before I explain sometimes. I start the design. And that is the hairline design. Now, notice I'm making lines. Some are thick areas and some have thin areas, but they create a shape. And each shape, this kind of looks like a triangle. This is kind of like, you know, so another elongated shape. 
And that's basically what you're doing. Creating big shapes and you want spaces in between. So I'm doing those spaces in between. Now leave them pretty big like that. Now I'm going to come down here. See how big? Oops, I kind of moved that a little bit. See how big that is? See those spaces in between? That's what you want. And some can be straight. Maybe you want to make some straight and then some really curvy. Some that come close together and some that don't. And some that go up to another one. Kind of like that. That's the way it should look. Now that's a basic shapes. And from that basic shape, what I'm going to ask you to do is that you're going to create, even with the finer marker, and it should be a smaller marker. I have more of a pen here because I don't have a whole lot. But the first thing you want to do is create a line pattern. So let's go up to the top. And let's say that I want to create a line pattern within this shape. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to repeat lines. And that's how we create textures. We repeat lines. Repetition, repetition, repetition. Okay? And after we get done with the repetition, what we're going to do, I don't have to be exact, but you got it started. That could be the only thing you do in that section. Not so hard, is it? I'm kind of a perfectionist, so I like to make my lines go all the way up to the top. Make them nice and neat. Careful not to smudge. Okay? And maybe for the next one, I want to do something different. Let's say that I want to loop-de-loop -loop and create this really fun pattern. So I'm going to create this fun pattern, and it's going to go all the way. Now, I have tape on here. You won't have tape, so that won't bother you. But I'm doing this so that you can see the fun patterning that you can do on this hairline design. When you create line and you repeat, it becomes more like texture, and that will be our next study. Okay, area of study will be texture, and you'll be semi-expert by the time you get done with this on what texture is really all about. Now, I keep trying to go through the loops. Notice they're not perfect. They don't have to be perfect. They just have to be swirly creative. That's sort of what art is really all about. To have fun. It should be very, very relaxing for you. If not, try a simpler design. Okay? Look, I've already filled up almost two spaces by now. So in filling up these two spaces, I'm almost done with the second one. I will do a third one and show you, but every space must have a line design. Now, this will be filled up, but I have a piece of tape over it, so it's not going to work. This time, I kind of want to go diagonal, because there's diagonal lines. Diagonal, horizontal, vertical. These are vertical lines, and these are diagonal lines. So what you need to know, don't continue this over here. Why not? Because there's a stop right there. This is another whole shape to do a different design in, okay? So what you need to do is continue with this. And I can continue with diagonal, diagonal, diagonal. And I've done vertical. And you know what I'm going to do? Since I've done vertical, I've done diagonal. Horizontal is stripes. It's going straight across. These are horizontal lines. All right, so that is going to conclude. What you're going to do to finish this project is you're going to do a design in every shape of every hairline, and that'll conclude your project when you get done, okay? I have an example up on Schoology, so if you want to take a look at that, go ahead and take a look at the example, okay? All right.